Hey, I'm here with Kevin, the lead story designer of Watch Dogs, right behind us. Um, so, Kevin, Watch Dogs getting a lot of hype. I know, I saw you have a lot of nominations for this game. It's it's huge. People have been talking about it since last E3. How does that make you feel that this is such a big thing, a big release coming out? Well, it's a big relief for us. We're pretty excited. You know, last year we came out and we were the big surprise of E3. Uh, we were we had a lot of promise. But of course, this E3 was coming, uh, it was all about coming in and saying, hey, you saw the promise last year, it's real, and here's what we've got to show you. So we were really, you know, it's still your baby, and you're still putting it out there, kind of going, okay, is everyone going to like this? Are they still on board? So it was really encouraging and exciting to see that people are still connecting with what we've got to offer. Awesome, awesome. If you could put it down to the days, how many days do you think you've worked on Watch Dogs? Oh my God, days. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll, I'll start for months. Uh, no, days is easily uh, 50, uh, getting up to 1,500 days. Wow. <laughs> That's a, a lot, lot of years. Day. It's been a lot of years. No, we've been, the project's been going for about four years, so we've spent a lot of time on this project. Right. Will, you got something? What kind of differences between the current gen consoles and the next gen consoles are we going to? Do we expect to see? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, you know, uh, I, I got a great analogy for you in what you're going to get. So, first of all, uh, what we always say is, is, you know, the experience that you get, the the core experience is the same on all the consoles. But here's the difference. It's like when you go to a movie. Uh, you and I go to the movie together, and you go to the 3D version. I go to the regular version. We both watch it. You get more immersed. You're pulled in. You know, you you experience all of it. But we come out, and we can still talk about the movie, and we know everything about the movie. That's what Watch Dogs is. You know, we, we players will get the same experience, same multiplayer, the uh, uh, the same uh, storyline, side missions, everything. All, all, we have the same to offer on all consoles. But next gen just gives that much more fidelity and, and, and realism to the world. Like a, like a crisper graphical style to it, a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, the, the, the city is, is uh, you see more citizens, it's fuller, uh, full of more people. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, city. I, I love it. <laughs> so I'm a fan, you know. So another big title coming out for Ubisoft is Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah. How does Watch Dogs se separate itself from the Assassin's Creed series? I know there's a lot of stealth elements and getting around your opponent elements kind of thing and using your environment. How do you be new and different in this almost the same kind of genre? Well, I don't think we're, tr you know, we're not actively trying. We don't sort of try to make sure, hey, we got to be different from Assassin's. Assassin's is a great game and, and we love the things that, you know, we've learned a lot from Assassin's. A lot of people on our team have come from Assassin's. You know, we're in the same studio, so we share a lot of the same information. So we're not actively out to make sure that we're we're different from them. I think just naturally, though, our game has, uh, you know, it's, our core thing is we've given you a whole city that you can hack at will. And that's just a unique concept in itself. At any time, anywhere in the city, you can approach a mission any way you want, use the city any way you want. Any camera that you are able to see around here, you can hack into it. Any device, those lights, I can kill those lights. So that's that's a that's our new offering that I think is what's going to excite players. Along with being able to do use anything, where was the balance between doing too much and doing not enough? How did you reach that point to where it's like I don't feel overwhelmed by everything? Do you, oh, you mean in terms of the the city? Uh, yeah. What? Okay, that that was fairly straightforward to do because for us, what we did was we created. We wanted the city to feel real. That was the main thing, right? Everything that you can do is, is grounded in reality. So it's pretty easy to do. We just looked at, well, how does the city operate? And, and how, how, does, how is the city laid out? Chicago is one of the most uh, monitored cities in the world. They have surveillance cameras everywhere. And so it was, it was a natural fit for us to have these cameras everywhere in Chicago. Everyone carries around a cell phone everywhere. Yeah. So we didn't, that was all we, we did to sort of make sure we managed that sort of stuff. We just wanted it to feel real uh, with the world. Awesome. I think that works really well for people. Right. Yeah. Uh, regarding the storyline, does you have like structured missions? Is there's actually like character development throughout the throughout the game, or how does that work? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Uh, for sure, we've got a a clear uh, story. Like you, you're following the uh, journey of Aiden Pierce. Uh, he's a guy who uh, uh, lives on the wrong side. Of, he's lived on the wrong side of the law. He's made mistakes. Uh, and so now he's seeking vengeance on people who uh, tried to hurt him, ended up hurting his family. So you're following him on that journey, and it has clear missions for that. Uh, and it's a single story that you're going to follow. But where it becomes more 
uh, free roaming and open is that uh, you know the story goes this way but then we've widened it out here where you can explore all sorts of things around that you get to live as a vigilante the way you want to live as a vigilante uh, once you tap into CTOS you're connected to the system and it alerts you to potential crime around you and it's your choice whether you want to follow that through or not whether you want to step in or not and that just happens dynamically in the game. So, so if, um, can you, you're basically choosing the right, the wrong in this case. Can you choose to play the game and as a do what's morally right, or do you have those kinds of options in the game as far as uh, your decision making? Yeah, we wanted. For us, it was it was very important that we don't make a clear, you know, right and wrong kind of approach to the game. Uh, you know, we don't have a hard morality system that says you're going to become the good vigilante or the bad vigilante. There's a reputation system, and what happens is if you start being a reckless vigilante, you're going to get a bad reputation. Word's going to get out about you. People are going to see what you do, and they're going to respond accordingly. They're going to talk about you in a certain way. The media is going to report about you in a certain way. So the environment responds to how you're playing around you all the time. Exactly, and that's really something that reflects on you. You know, you're going to have to think about that. Okay, uh, this, the city is reacting in a certain way. How do I feel about that? Do you know is that a good thing or a bad thing? Small ways it does affect you though is let's say you're uh, you've been uh, uh, your rep uh, reputation is not so good. If you steal a car, someone's going to see you, and they're, they're they might might or might not. It's it's all you know, but they might pull out their phone and immediately call the cops. Hey, this guy's stealing a car. Well, pretty soon the cops are going to be on your ass, and you're going to have to deal with that. If your reputation is good, they may see you and go, "Ah, it's you! I know about you. Get the hell out of here!" Yeah, yeah, just, just go. I'm not going to call. Go. So you know, and again, those things, we don't entirely know when or where those things will happen, but uh, it's entirely based on how you it's play the game. Like yeah, and it's about how, what type of vigilante you want to be. Awesome. Kevin, one last question. How can I get one of those sweet, sweet t-shirts? Ah, yeah, we've got this, uh, these, uh, I don't know if this one particularly, but uh, the, we have uh, UB Workshops online. Uh, I don't know the address, ubworkshops.com, I think it is. So you can't help me out at all. Ah! <laughs> no. All right, well, <laughs> Kevin, mine. Right, Kevin, thank you for meeting with us. Uh, check out Watch Dogs coming this November. It's uh, next-gen consoles and current-gen.